everybody. Welcome to the Resistance Broadcast. I'm John. Thanks for joining us on this Monday. We are nine days away from the return of the Mandalorian and also the return of the Mando Fan Show on March 1st. So get ready to join us live as we talk about Chapter 17 of the Mandalorian. It's finally back. I can't believe it's been over two years it's crazy to think that that's the case but that's coming back so we're doing a shift while mando's happening from thursday live to wednesday live you're still getting your two shows a week including the monday shows which is what this is this is our discussion show but we're playing a game later and if you're old school trb or you were a listener or watcher about a year ago we're bringing back our movie quote guessing game called who are you and playing with me today are my co-hosts, James and Lacey. Uh, it is going to be me versus Lacey today uh, with James gathering and delivering the questions. So we'll get into the rules of all that stuff later. I'll explain everything. You won't have to worry about that. Uh, but we have some other cool stuff we're going to talk about. But before we do, uh, just a reminder to all of you out there, our friends at Gentle Giant have a promo code that they paired up with us on. And if you want to grab one of their cool items like this, speaking of Mando, Mando and Grogu. So go to their website. Anything in stock, 20% off with a checkout code RESIST20. Uh, so use that. Save money. <laughs> use your money for other stuff. Uh, also, we have a coffee brand at Weird Brothers. Uh, weirdbrothers.com. Check out the Resistance Brew and get yourself a bag of our coffee. Uh, and also, make sure you're subbed to our podcast, whether that's our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at the Resistance Broadcast. Or, of course, on your preferred audio podcast app, Spotify, Apple, wherever. And spread the word. Tell your friends about the podcast. Rate us. All that good stuff. Uh, before we get going, uh, Lacey, your birthday yesterday. Uh, Woo! You, uh, happy birthday! R- rumor had it uh, <laughs> that you made your own cake. So how did everything go? It went well. I like good. baking. Fun fact of the day. Um, it was, it was definitely more of funfetti. Well done, James. Uh, it was more of a laid back birthday, but I'm okay with that. You know, just kind of getting some time for myself. Uh, and um, yeah, it was nice. Thank you, everyone, for your lovely messages and comments and fun memes and Grogu pictures and everything else. It makes my day. Thank you. Very good. Uh, James, we have to get this show on the road, pal. And yes. there's... One way we like to do that often. So let's get to it. I fear nothing for all this as the Force wills it. John, I think you're referring to Will of the Force. Uh, I think that's the way we normally do it. And one way that we don't always do it, but we're going to do it this week, is an all patron submitted Will of the Force episode. Um, and that means that, uh, you know, if you join our Patreon at patreon.com slash resistance broadcast, you can submit your topics and we pick and choose, pick the, the best, sometimes not the best, but we pick them, we choose them, we, they get into the episode. And, uh, this week we have, uh, four really good ones and a couple new ones, new <laughs> ones. Um, we're going to kick it off with one of those newcomers. This is a, commander uh that goes by the name adam furley adam hey, asks the question welcome uh he, he asks us the question will disney ever make another star wars trilogy that's episodes 10 11 12 or will disney just make standalone or spin off uh star wars films um so that's the title of our episode today for uh for youtubers and all that that's the that's the question of the week so i'm going to start with uh john on this one what are your thoughts are we ever going to get 10 11 and 12 yeah i think that's a lock um i think uh especially with Iger back um even though he won't be he won't be ceo by the time those movies come out um unless we get completely blindsided at celebration <laughs> but uh i i think they're they're steering towards what people like. And I think it's just inevitable that a 10, 11, 12 is going to happen. Um, I think that'll likely be carried on with Ray and the legacy droids and creatures that we gotten to know and 
probably sprinkling some other characters that we've gotten to know, like Grogu and even Ezra and older Ezra, that sort of thing. But I think it's an in- inevitability that 10, 11, 12 happens just a matter of when. So it definitely will happen. Hmm. Lacey, what are your thoughts on another Star Wars trilogy? In this form. Yeah. Hi, Adam. Welcome to the community. We're excited to have you here in the base. Um, great question. I think 100% yes, they will be making another Star Wars trilogy. And I think they also will be making standalone spinoff movies. <clears throat> um, as we talked about last Thursday, Disney has definitely pivoted their focus um, to continuing the success they've had in streaming. Don't get me wrong, but definitely trying to get back into the movie theaters. And I think the way they're going to do that is stuff that's tied to the Skywalker saga and tied to the original stories. Um, Not directly, obviously, but um, definitely tied to that story. Uh, And then also stuff that's kind of new and fresh and unique and, and different um, and continuing that tradition for star Wars of being trendsetters and different and, and something that we've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Um, Man, I'm torn on this one, but uh I'm going to I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say that they eventually will make 10, 11 and 12. My only concerns with it, um, Adam, is that I'm just not sure how believable it is that you finally defeated the new or the uh, the empire. You started the new republic for like, you know, just a short little while. (laughs) I don't know. Star Wars already sort of set that up um, where they were like. The new uh, the Republic was here for thousands of years and then the Empire came along and they lasted 20 years. <laughs> and that's like or 23 years or four years or whatever it was. And then like 30 years later, they're uh, the first orders overthrowing the entire Empire again or the government again. I don't know. It just all gets kind of wishy washy, but we'll, we'll see what they do. And I think they, they could pull it off uh, with those characters. I would also maybe like to see new characters take over a new trilogy. That way you get like yeah. a different trio yeah. each time. So I don't know. You might need a little bit more time, but we'll see. But, yeah, um, like next question, Republic though. trilogy. I mean, it doesn't have to be 10, 11, 12. Yeah. Um, <laughs> our next one is coming from Commander OT Nix. Will Carson Tava be in Mando season three? Possibly. Oh, will Carson Tava being in Mandalorian season three possibly reignite the go ahead for the Rangers of the New Republic show on Disney Plus, even if there's no Cara Dune. Uh, what do you think, Lacey? Hi, Nix. Again, can't wait to see you soon. Um, love your question because I love Carson Tava. I love Paul. Everybody knows that. I talk about it all the time. Um, I really hope this is the case. I think that conversations are happening about that character, um, Carson and being acted by Paul that they want to see more from him. And I think he was a part of the original plan, but I don't think anyone's ever going to touch the Rangers, of the new Republic. <laughs> I think that show kind of got a little spoiled after the Cara Dune situation. And I don't think anything good can come of it by having it you know, <gasps> out as is with that name, because it's just going to be connected to that baggage wrongfully, rightfully. So however you want to say it, like, I don't agree with that. I, I think that they should be able to put out a project no matter who's in it, if that's what their plan is. But that's mm-hmm. not how it works. And people associate words with certain people and associate certain projects with certain people. So I think that they're retooling that story. And I think we're going to see this fold back into this Mandoverse. But I don't think we'll see the go ahead of Rangers of the New po- Republic. I think that project has basically been nixed so to speak. Uh, (laughs) Pun intended. (laughs) Yes, pun intended. Uh, But yeah, it's unfortunate. And I hope that uh, Carson Tava is seen a lot more of. I'm already praying that Celebration has his patch or Rancor squadron jacket because I need it. Um, But yeah, that's my thought. Um, I'm going to jump in here. Uh, I actually think this is exactly right. I think that Carson right. Tava being in Mandalorian. I hope so. Three, I'm on the side of I want it to see it happen. Yeah. It's I don't think that it's reigniting it. I think that there's a pretty good chance that when the whole stuff happened and they were like, oh, well, we can't move forward with that show. That was the plan. 
Right. Is they probably got uh, number one bombarded by fans of all these possibilities. Why don't you just get Bill Burr to do it or whatever, you know? And I mm-hmm. think one that they were probably looking at was to have Paul as in this show and in this character, how could we change things around? Could we still make it about what we wanted to do with it? Mm-hmm. And I think with, with Paul potentially taking on a bigger role in that show, they said, well, can you do it? And I bet he said, well, no, I've already signed on for avatar. And that's, that's going to be a while. And I think Lucasfilm knows all about waiting. They have not, <laughs> they have yeah. not said that this show is done. They've said that it is not currently in active development. And I think that means, okay, well, we'll take some time. We'll rework it. When, when you're available, we'll tie it into whatever we want to do. Right. Um, so I think there is a pretty good chance that considering this character has sort of become uh, like sort of a sub fan favorite um, and is still showing up in Mandalorian season three, even to the point where he's showing up in the trailer and fans are going, Yes, like I'm excited that they're putting mm-hmm. that in there because they want to invigorate what you liked about the Mandalorian. So they know that that's a popular character. And I, I think all that to say is that they could be just pushing Rangers of the New Republic back because they have this really cool idea that they want to do. Just unfortunately right. didn't move forward when it did. John, what are your mm-hmm. thoughts? Break the tie. Um, I I don't think that this is happening. Um, I think there is a rework in terms of involving the character um, more in Mandalorian than they probably anticipated and maybe more in other things that's tied in like Ahsoka or whatever else is a part of this Mandoverse, even Skeleton Crew, you know. Um, And the reason being just like the Disney Plus status, you know, it's all the Bob, Bob, Bob Iger's words about, yeah, we're going to lean heavily into our IPs, but I think he also means stuff that he thinks people are going to watch. And there's mm-hmm. no guarantee a show led by Paul Sun Young Lee is going to carry it. I love him. And, you know, I, I put him in everything. But uh, people like to, to try to catch people for a Star Wars show, I, I'm not so sure. Um, I mean, even the fact that it was being led by Gina Carano, who... I never thought was a good actor anyway. Uh, and then mm-hmm. people uh, admitted to it once they didn't like her as a person. Um, but just the finances of Disney plus, I think they're going to be more measured on what they green light. And the fact that this one was already sort of on Rocky ground, it doesn't make a lot of sense for them to green re green light a show and restructure it with characters. People don't really know very well or have known very long. Um, so I just don't think that that's going to happen. I would love it. Trust me, Nick. So, you know, I'm with you. Uh, but, but I think maybe the the pivot there is Carson Tava has a bigger role in the future of Mandalorian and other stuff as opposed to that show. So I still think we'll get our Carson Tava. Uh, so we're going to get plenty of, uh, of, of Paul Sung Young Lee back in the mix. Um, but I think the Rangers of the New Republic is probably staying on the shelf, if not in the old recycling bin and that recycling bin has been cleared out, but I am really happy to see you at celebration. Nick's finally, you're always so kind all the time. And even when I'm having a real bad day, if I see an absolute delight, you make me feel happy and you've always supported us. So thank you. Yeah. Um, Next one comes from uh, commander Kyle Baker. Yeah. Uh, What's up, buddy? Uh, Commander Kyle wanted to know with John Williams deciding not to retire just yet, after all, will he score the next theatrical Star Wars movie? John and Bounce Becky, you on this one, what are your thoughts? Uh, no, I, I, I think John Williams is definitely done with Star Wars. I think, you know, he came back for that sequel trilogy because it still honored what he started. Um, and he really liked writing for, uh, ray and doing that theme i know that was a big thing for him um so but even if it is ray like the theme's already there i just don't see him starting something he probably can't finish and he's 91 or 92 now he just had a birthday a trilogy is a seven to ten year commitment um i i think he did a great job with episode nine it's how he's going to end his run with star wars um, aside from like, you know, he did the Obi-Wan theme or like a one-off for a legacy character maybe, but 
and then he's going to do Indiana Jones, and that might be it for him with Lucasfilm. So I, I, I don't think I think they're going to find a new. They should find a new mainstay, long term composer like a John Williams. I think that's important, but I don't think it's going to be him anymore. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, you know, kind of looking at his statements. He's like, basically, you know what? I messed up. I, I'm sticking around. I can't retire from music day without music is a mistake. Is this quote? It's like, that makes me think that he's not giving any sort of like, I'm retired. Well, I'll do one more. I'm coming out of retirement to do X makes me think that he just like, retired too early and didn't really f- feel comfortable with it and so now all bets are off as, as far as what comes his way um, but I think what is more likely for John Williams in the Star Wars universe is the Galaxy's Edge slash solo aspect of it of like hey I'll set you up uh, with you know your main character or your theme for whatever this is um, but I'm not doing the whole movie. And then you get, you know, your John Powell's or whatever that can, um, that are amazing and and can take over a star Wars movie. Um, but still being that, that handoff, uh, from Steve era from John Williams. So I think that that might be possible considering he seemed pretty open to doing a bunch of stuff. Um, but let's get to our last one here. And this is another answer. Oh, you didn't answer. Oh, (laughs) no, Right. Okay. Yeah, go for it, Lacey. <laughs> so, <laughs> no worries. So, um I think John Williams has um obviously walked back his statement on retiring. Um unfortunately due to his age, which we all know he's like 90, what 91 now? 90. 90? I think he's yeah. 91 now. Yes. A young 91. Um I don't see him doing a full theatrical release. I kind of agree with James that he's going to probably do like one offs here and there. Maybe he'll do a theme for a character or give them some type of special edition track. Uh, But I can't see him doing an entire trilogy of star Wars movies. I don't know what else he would be utilizing, but I hope he proves me wrong and does it (laughs) like if not, if not star Wars and Indiana Jones, then he's just doing like that other Steven Spielberg film or whatever, you know? Yeah. The I'm not really ones, sure. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let's move on to that question that I alluded to a second ago from our new commander, uh, Nikki Grandchamp. Uh, Nikki wanted to know, will they ever welcome by the way? Um, Nikki wanted to know, will they ever make a movie about Leia? Like from her book, Leia or bloodline even, I don't know. Uh, Lacey, let's bounce it back at you on this one. What do you think? Hey, Nikki, welcome. We're excited to have you a part of the resistance. Thank you for your question. It's it's, all, it's just so cool when we get new people and then they I see their name pop up as some of the questions. Yeah. Um, it's just fun to have people be engaged. Um, will we ever make a movie about Leia? I think that Vivian Blair did an amazing job as a young Leia, but currently right now i don't think we're going to get another leia story i think they're going to let that character <clears throat> sit for a little bit just because of what happened with carrie and how that character ended in the rise of skywalker i, I just don't see them making a movie i could see them doing a show like an animated leia show they've you know that's an easy way to have her pop up but i don't see them ever making a movie but that John? doesn't mean i don't want one <laughs> Or actually, uh, l- let me jump in. Here's the thing is you, you the question alludes to possibly adapting um, Princess of Alderaan or Bloodline. And yeah. I will say that for sure, probably <laughs> that for sure, probably <laughs> will not happen. Um, that's a weird way to say it. But they generally, uh, yeah. in my experience with Lucasfilm so far in the new canon era, they shy away from doing things that are adaptations of other stories, unless they just happen to like cross over like the beginning of the Ahsoka book. They sort of retold that in uh, uh, Clone Wars. The problem with it though, is that they just, they recognize immediately becomes an issue with continuity and all sorts of stuff. And they generally just don't like doing that. Um, So I would expect both of those stories to not be told. Um, But your question still remains anything else probably got to agree with Lacey on this one that it's just too 
strange of a character in the place that we're at with, you mm-hmm. know, Carrie having passed. Um, and you have now uh, an, <clears throat> a young version who could age up into her potentially, but you really have that like 19 year old Carrie Fisher. And then you have like your older um, Carrie Fisher and there, and you know, you never want to cast somebody in between. So um, John, I, I imagine that's your point, but what, what is your thoughts on this? Yeah, that's um, <clears throat> and basically everything you just said, James, there's, there, mm-hmm. there's no place for a Leia movie um, and age 10 to 19, like what story are they going to tell there um, to carry a movie? Like, I don't, I don't, I just don't see that. Um, I, I mean, I could see the kid playing her again, especially if they do a Kenobi season two. Um, though that even is probably might be pushing the envelope with that whole connection. But uh, yeah, they're not going to recast post nine, so that's not their thing. Um, even if Carrie was alive and she, but she or or she couldn't do it or something, they still wouldn't do that just because of the continuity of canon. So I just don't see where there would be a spot for it for for a Leia. Uh, movie so i just i just don't think that's going to be something that happens yeah and another point too is even if she was alive and she was that age i feel like she wouldn't um (laughs) carry a star wars movie does that make sense is like the lead like you would still have to have a young person as far as like the action and adventure of star wars she could do a great movie as leia but it wouldn't feel like star wars does that make sense like you know the the people who don't like solo they're like we didn't need a han solo movie i disagree with that because i think there's (laughs) so much for han and chewie to do in that time because they're smugglers there's 10 years there to tell stories where with leia like we sort of know what's going on and where she's at and what was happening in between certain spots. And, you know, she died in episode nine. So that's bookended there. And then again, we have, we already got the young kid Leia. So there's just, it would just, if they did it, it would be just to do it. And that's never the good reason. Yeah. Yeah. That story bloodline too works really well as a book, but I don't think it would be a very good movie. People would be like, this doesn't feel like. And yeah, yeah, you're going to punch like Julianne Moore into there as Leia all of a sudden and be like, that's Leia. You're like, no, it's not. All right, guys. Well, let's wrap up Will the Force this week. Uh, Thank you to everybody who submitted the questions. They were great. Welcome to all people who have a question on for the first time and they've joined the Patreon. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, Speaking of Patreon, let's move on to our next section. What do we got, Lacey? What are we doing? Guys, it's time for the Patreon pod race. All right, so there's lots of ways you can support us. You can like this video, comment, subscribe on YouTube. You can follow us on all the social channels like Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, at TRB Podcasts. Or if you want more than that, in addition to our audio platform, Spotify Podcasts and uh, Apple Podcasts, where you can leave a review. Thank you so much. Um, You can head over to patreon.com slash resistance broadcast. Just starting at $5 a month, you get to be a part of the community and you support our show and what we're doing here. And you said, guys, I like what you do. Can you do more of that? (laughs) And you help us out a lot. So you get uh, live streams from us, Discord server, mailings, and much, much more. And we want to help, or not help, but thank our top tiers who help us uh, do what we do here. So thank you to our generals and spice runners. I'm going to say thank you to those people first. So thank you to Carmelo, John Reese, Jetta Rosewater, Frank Grande, Darth Hurricane, Nick Kratz, Christian Morales, Brian Smith, Matt Chitty, Danny, Mike Ramori, Matt Heath, Brendan McLaughlin, Count Pepto, Sneaky Zebra, Paul Sullivan, Aaron Ellington, Diana, Ivar. Ivar. I- Ivar. I- Ivar, 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 like an iPhone. I'm sorry, Ivar. <laughs> and Micah Harrison, thank you guys so much. Thank you. And our Spice Runners, David Probus, Neil Shaw, Kendall Gelnar, Kendall Gelnar, Ryan Wara, Dave Hornack, Thomas Hennessy, Andrew Staley, Jeremy Myers, and Michael Fryer. Thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you. Uh, and it wouldn't be an episode if I didn't mess up some names. So uh, heading <laughs> into the pod racer this week, we have the awesome Nick Kratz. And this is where we ask them a question. They give us their answer. We discuss it. So his question this week was, for you, what was the most important thing Lucasfilm needs to achieve with the next Star Wars movie as it kicks off the next era in Star Wars films? Which is a perfect question for the news we got this past week of Star Wars films possibly being announced at Celebration coming up in April. 
Um, so Nick, take it away. Hey, TRB, it's Nick. Uh, one thing I really want to see in the uh, next installment of Star Wars is a new, fresh team. Uh, I wouldn't mind if this new team kind of includes some sequel characters like Rey uh, and Finn and, and possibly Grogu. Uh, but I'd really like to see a group of people going on an adventure together. Uh, I really want to see sort of the dynamic that we saw in something like Willow or even like the Rebels crew where it's really about this shared story of a group of people moving on to like adventure or accomplish or fighting back against whatever the bad guy is. Um, I, I like individual stories too, but I always think there's a lot more value, especially in Star Wars, as you've talked about with found family in a group of people sort of relying on one another to do anything. And I really think that would be a strength of introducing a new team or again, even just introducing Grogu to the newer team from the sequel, I think would be really cool. So thanks guys. Uh, congratulations on 600 again, and uh, we'll talk soon. Awesome job, Nick. Thank you for being on the show. Great to see you. Hope you and your family are well. John, what did you think? First off, was it hailing on your car? <laughs> a loud raindrop, Nick. I hope your, hope your car is okay. But uh, yeah, um, I really liked your answer um, because you clearly looked at the layers of this thing, which I think is cool because there's the low-hanging fruit. It's like, Let's do Ray and 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 we like that on this mm -hmm. show. Say so like let's do Ray and Grogu and we want that. But you said let's give me give me a new group of characters who become a new found family, and uh, I think that's really cool because anytime I think of you know a new adventure story, even something that I'm not a huge fan of, like I'm not the biggest Lord of the Rings fan, but you see those characters come together and go on that journey. That's like a cool thing. Same with like Harry Potter and those three characters and. The, so if we get that in Star Wars with a new group that we can meet for the first time and go on a multi-film journey with, I think that's a really good idea. And you can still have the beats of Star Wars, like lightsabers, blasters, and all that cool stuff. Um, so I, I like where you're going with that. And I think that would be interesting, especially post-Episode 9. Because who's to say? It's a large galaxy. You can still do post-9 Ray stuff with legacy characters and take this other adventure with all these other characters. So like They don't have to be on the one-lane highway after Episode 9. So... Uh, I think you did a great job. It's always good to talk to you and hear from you, man. Uh, thanks for all your support across the board. Appreciate it. James? 100% could not agree more with you, Nick. Um, I think this is uh, like, this is one of those things where like when you say it, people go like, oh, then he didn't like the sequel trilogy. I love the sequel trilogy. I'm really glad that it exists the way that it exists. But it also does feel like it would have been nice by the time we got to the third movie, it wasn't the first time it felt like we were getting to see those three characters work as a team. Um, that's something that's sort of missing from Force Awakens, sort of missing from Last Jedi. And then it feels a little bit better in uh, The Rise of Skywalker. Um, I think that the... Uh, I think this is something that could be very good considering even your example right here with uh, Willow and uh, the Rebels crew it's like yes that's what made those shows great is getting to learn those characters along the way and mm -hmm. watching their <clears throat> them change their personalities here and there um to to make you feel like you've truly gone on a journey with them as a group so 100 percent uh you nailed it thanks for being a part of the show thanks for being a patron thank you nick great answer i can't uh, say enough how found family is so important to me and i know to all of us that it was one of our favorite episodes that we did in the past year or so um and it's such an important theme of star wars that you perfectly touched on here that that's what's needed more than anything else is like these character relationships and the developments between them as they go on their adventures and their journeys um i think willow was amazing in that the characters were just people that you fell more and more in love with as the series went on and i'd love to see something like that uh, in whatever comes next for Star Wars. So thank you so much for your answer. And now we're going to head to, I think, John to explain the game and then James hosting the game. Right? All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's time for our discussion, which is a game this time. But take it away, Darth. Who are you? Well, we saw Darth. And we heard <laughs> Mas <laughs> Mas <laughs> 
I was saying, that's a little. I, I don't think Darth says it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the funny thing is, is technically in Star Wars canon, Maz doesn't say it either, right? Because that's from the trailer. The trailer, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, that she eerie can... beginning. And she goes, mysterious I know one. Beginning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so the um, name's Ray Skywalker. <laughs> they just yell <laughs> it right up. <laughs> didn't, 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 didn't. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Didn't make it past the trailer. Cast your worries aside. Uh, so yeah, the game is called Who Are You? Uh, it's our Star Wars movie quote guessing game. Yeah, we may get into uh, other areas of Star Wars live action as more uh, opportunities for quotes arise. But for now, it's still uh, movie quotes. So all uh 11 live action movies uh so here it is here's the pitch uh this week the quotes were gathered by james uh who's going to host the segment and Lacey and i will be facing off james will give us both the same nine quotes from star wars movies and we will have to guess what characters said them we will have to each write down our guesses show it and say it at the same time on james's count two three Each question is worth two points. Each person gets one hint to use throughout the game. Now, the hint will always be what movie the quote is from, which James will text or message to that person alone. And if that person guesses right after using their hint, their answer will now only be worth one point. And if the other person gets it without using their hint, they still get the full two points because they weren't the one who asked for the hint and they didn't get the hint. Uh, The person with the highest score at the end of nine rounds is the winner. If there's a tie, each question thereafter will be sudden death Uh, and play along with us. Let us know how you did in the comments. For some reason, everyone's always nine for nine. It seems when they play along (laughs) at home, Uh, but they are very good and and oftentimes a lot better than us. So definitely play along brag, (laughs) Tell us how hard it was, how easy it was. Just let's have some fun guessing some Star Wars quotes because we love these movies, but sometimes it's like, oh my God, who said that? Uh, and tweet at us at TRB Podcasts. Uh, email us on the comments on YouTube, wherever, or patrons. Let's 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 hash it out on Discord and see who did well. Uh, mm-hmm. We always have fun in those chats. So uh, let's have some fun. So James, you got the quotes. Me and Lacey are here yeah. to, to face off. Uh, so after sometimes- you, after you. Sometimes the best uh, angle to take on this is like mine because I'm like, oh, I think they're going to struggle on this and you guys get it right away. And then other ones, I'm like, this is an easy one. and You guys don't know it. It's so fun because it's like just something about maybe the delivery. But I don't know. We'll get into it now. Are you guys all ready to go? Do you have your papers? John says no. Physically ready. ready. Mentally. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. Mentally. All right. We'll see how this goes. Let's get started with quote number one. And it is, I have good news for you, my lord. The war has begun. I have good news for you, my lord. The war has begun. And I try to read these not obviously in a cadence that the character says it, or I'm not going to be like, yeah, you know, Mm. do or do not, right? (laughs) You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have good news for you, my lord. The war has begun. It's it's just a shame that uh, the movie franchise is Star Wars. There's just so many wars going on. It's tough to. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm here for any repeats. <laughs> both uh, for audio listeners, they are both staring down at their their <laughs> jotting in thought. Jotting. I'm gonna the go... question is, how many yeah. times tonight am I going to write the right answer, cross it out, put mm-hmm. the wrong answer? Oh, mm-hmm. oh, oh, wait, wait. I think <laughs> just I, got it. See, see, I just, I, I probably just screwed myself, but I feel like something came to me, but I, 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 I don't know. I'll tell you All what right. my first answer was when I'm Hold wrong. On. So e- e- yeah. either way, I have good news for you, my lord. The war has begun. I think I think I got it. I think I got it. All right, you guys ready? One more time. One more time. One more time. I have good news for you, my lord. The war has begun. <sighs> woof, 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 woof. Oh my god, woof. <laughs> That's the second quote. 
Yeah. <laughs> Five wolves. It. it was said by Lothal Wolves. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my second answer. All right. Ready? Yeah. I'm yeah. going to have to All take right. off, but I still mean it. All right. Reveal in three, two, one. Pee it. Count Dooku. Oh my gosh, Lacey, you went through so many. <laughs> the correct answer is Count Dooku. Damn. All right. From Attack of the Clones. Is it the end of the movie when he finally arrives to Palpatine? Yeah, he visits Coruscant and he goes to this the sort of far away area oh God, of Coruscant. Where it's like, already. yeah. What's interesting is what I did not notice is that where his ship lands and when he gets out, I believe, and I could be wrong because I only saw it today, I believe that is the exact area where he battles Yaddle. I think you're right. I think that is exactly that spot. Yeah. Um, Pretty cool. Are you keeping score on your end? I was okay. going to. Okay. All right. All so right. Currently my, so my first get, the first thing I wrote down was a Newt Gunray. So... I was wrote vibing prequels. Yeah, I was vibing prequels, but then something came it, to me. But the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one here. Uh, if you guys are ready, here we go. Mm. So the score for the for the audience, it's two nothing. Just two to, zero. Yeah. Yep, yeah. two nil. All right. The first order, they're charging their weapon again now. Your system is the next target. Oh, oh. Well, we, uh, we we know where it uh what era it's in I guess. But... The first order, they're charging their weapon again now. Your system is the next target. The funny I... thing is I can picture someone saying this. I just can't picture who that person is. I know. I feel the same way. <laughs> I'm going to kind of be driven nuts because reading this, I'm like, I hope I didn't misquote that because I went. Oh, oh, no. No, I am Lacey it's, right it's now. The, it's the person. I'm just the wording. All right. Well, you can. I'll okay. read it again. The okay. first order. They're charging their weapon again. Now your system is the next target. Man. I feel like half that line, I'm like, got it. And then the rest of the line, I'm like, no, that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to just. I, uh, I'm going to go for it here. Mm -hmm. I'm not confident mm -hmm. in this one, but. Can you say it again, James? Yes, it's the first order. They're charging their weapon again now. Your system is the next target. Sorry if I'm I'm being a little weird. I'm trying I'm like I uh, I can't place that quote. It sounds partially right, but I can't place that quote. And that's my problem. It's like the other one I remember hearing it. This one I remember hearing half of it. Where did you get the quotes from? The movies. I was I would watch them. <laughs> Do we know that the movies are correct? <laughs> oh boy. Do you have something written down? Lisa? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wing it. Uh, I'm I'm in wing territory as well. I'm gonna okay. X wing it. Okay. There you go. Th this may change your answer. I for some reason I don't know how this happened, but I did misquote it. It's our system is the next target. Oh, I feel I feel a little better now. Okay. Yeah. So, so read the full first quote. Order, their first order. They're charging their weapon again now. Our system is the first target. I don't know. I must. You know what I think I did? I think I wrote it and and mistyped it. And I auto corrected to I, your. I, I feel power. a lot better right now. Okay. But we'll see. All right. You guys got it? All right. Three, two, one. Reveal. General Organa. John? Former TRB guest, Snap Wexley. No, it was General Organa. Hey. Ready? All right. This is what got happens. It. She gets handed the notice, and then she goes, they're charging the weapon now. We're the next part. And everyone's like, oh. 
And they're at the big I, circle thing with Han Solo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. TFA, I, baby. I promise you, like, I I really think it was a... a, a it's okay, James. It's okay. Thing. But that's why I was when like, I, was I know reading it, I was this like, quote. The, go back and watch the first reading of the, the quote. I was like, your system is the next... <laughs> that's target. why I was <laughs> twisted like, up. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, something doesn't <laughs> seem right. All right. I feel better um, about my love for TFA now that I was like, I know that's happening. Well, I thought okay. James was trying to be cute because we had Greg Grumberg on. He was going to throw us a snap quote from TFA, but I was mistaken. Yeah, um, All right. Okay, guys. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna pace it so up. I'm, James, I'm what's the score? Sure you you got to give them okay. the score every round. Every round. Right now, on, it you. is <laughs> two to two. <laughs> two to two. John versus Lacey. All After right. two rounds, we have After seven rounds, rounds to go. John listens to baseball. All right. Um, the next quote is, that's a shuttle depot straight ahead of us. You're sure of that? Oh, my God. <laughs> that's a shuttle depot straight ahead of us. You're sure of that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Another time. Uh, mm. That's a shuttle depot straight ahead of us. You're sure of that? Mm. 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 I two to two. going with the gut. Going I'm with going with the gut too. Not changing it. Yep. I'm it's ready. It's easier when I see the answers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready too. All right. I don't, I don't feel good. I don't. I don't feel good, feel good either. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Reveal. Poe Dameron. Qui -Gon. Cassian Andor from Rogue One. Oh. I, I see, it was either that. I, I had a, a specific spot in one movie, which is why I said Poe Dameron. And the other one, I'm Does like, he That's say a that Rogue to K2? He says that to Bodhi Rook. Bodhi Rook. So he, mm. when they're Garif? after they crash, no, Edu, yeah. after they crash, he's like, there's a shuttle depot straight ahead of us. You're sure. Yeah, oh. yeah, 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 like, yeah. Yes, yes, I know. Yes, it's there. Yeah, that makes sense. I promise. I was thinking it was Qui-Gon maybe in Phantom Menace. That's what I started mm -hmm. to go with. All right, guys, getting ready. Uh, zero, zero on that one. So the score is still two to two. Um, the next question you get is, you serve your master well and you will be rewarded. You serve your master well, and you will be rewarded. Got it. Oh. This is one of those ones I'm going to kick myself Where you for not hear realizing. it. Yeah. Where you hear it, and yeah. you can't place it. Yeah. 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 Two to two. Oh, my God. Can you repeat it again? You serve your master well, and you will be rewarded. I have my answers here. I just have to go get my phone, which is charging in case I need a hint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, okay. I'm trying to picture who said that. You've served your master well. You've served your master well. It's got to be someone you that turns someone in or does something to give someone something, obviously. Make sure you're getting the quote right. It's not you've served. It's you serve your master well, and you will be rewarded. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. What a doofus. <laughs> oh my God. I'm oh getting a God. vibe that they're both going to get it, but they could both be confidently wrong. Oh my God. What no, a I got it 100%, 100%. In three, two, one, show me. Luke Skywalker. Luke, Luke Skywalker. Skywalker. Dude, if I got correct. that wrong, I would just quit this podcast. Like that is literally one of my favorite scenes. You serve your master well. Oh my god! And you will be rewarded. Yeah, and he does like he's got the clo oh my god. It's Jabba's to, to Bib Fortuna. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, it's yeah. it's Luke being all monkey Jedi. Being it was me, It was me watching, wondering if I could put Hutties as a quote, <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> nope, <laughs> not gonna happen. Oh my god, guys! I just came back from that. You just saw that happen. I left my body and then came back. <laughs> so right. what's the score and what round are we in? Four to four in heading into round five. 
I don't even care if I get anything else right as long as I got that one right. It's all that matters. I support Um, that. All right. So the next quote is no, they're biohexacrypt and rescrambled every hour. We can't get through their security shields undetected. Nobody can. <laughs> no, they're biohexacrypt and rescrambled <laughs> every hour. We can't get into their security shields undetected. Nobody can. Oh my God. I don't, oh. I'm not sure if Lassie's, Lacey's laughing because it's obvious or not. It's not. not. <laughs> it's not obvious. Wait, I was say it again. Say it again. Say it again. No, they're biohexacrypt and rescrambled every hour. We can't get through their security shields undetected. Nobody can. All right. I got it. Keeping in mind that lifelines are still available. So if you really do not know, you can always ask for the movie I... and potentially get one point instead of zero. <laughs> yeah. Can you say, no, uh, whatever. I'm just going to wing it. Uh, okay. You want to read it one more time? <laughs> no, I'm good. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one, reveal. Rose Tico. Finn. It was Finn. Mother. <laughs> I was I see Lacey, you I was with you so cuz I thought it was one of the two of them. The reason but I, I like, laughed is because this James saying that quote, I said this sounds like a quote Rose would say because nobody else would know this. Which But he knows it cuz he was on the ship. So to me, yeah. I thought there was a potential that it'd be almost too easy because he would probably be the only person who would know that. Like Poe would uh, know for that. our listeners, that's yeah. from uh, the last last Jedi. Jedi. Last Jedi, when they're discussing how they're going to get aboard the ship to stop the hyperspace trapping tracking. Yeah, I I thought it was the scene that him and her are talking in the hallway. Is it that scene where nope. they both uh, talk at the same after, time? It's after it's they the go talk to Poe. Yeah, okay. and they're I was coming up with the plan on that's how right. they're going to get aboard. And he says, "Well, we'll just get fake yeah. IDs." And he's like, "No, that's not going to work." And then yeah. they have to refer to Maz. Yeah. All right. Um, but when you so read we're... it out like that, it's so that line is just so packed, and that's why I laughed. I was like, "It's so over it's the, the top." It's the longest one I have for tonight, for sure. So it's like one of those things that when you're reading it out of context, you're like, "Why would someone try to pack all this? Inf- no one would talk like this." Ryan yeah. Johnson's like, oh, "I'm so smart." <laughs> Like it's just a little too Come much. On, right? I like, think it's fine. George Lucas he, wrote that line that no, Mark it's, it's is very on about 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 the, very nerdy. Yeah. And I'm Rocky just and saying stuff. that if you were talking like the three of us were talking about a battle plan, you'd probably say something a little it just comes across really technical for Finn, who was supposed to be in sanitation. Yeah. yeah. That's all I'm saying. That's why I thought it was Rose, is because I was like, well, she's more technical. But anyway, I think people great talk quote, differently in movies and stuff anyway. Yeah, you know, good quote. Than, they, than a normal job. person would. All right, uh, here we go. Where are we at? So we're, at? we're headed into the sixth round. John has six points and Lacey has four. Only trailing yeah. by one. Question. As long as I got Luke Skywalker, I don't care. <laughs> All right, here we go. The next one is. Boys, you're both going to get what I promised. Boys, you're both going to get what I promised. Got it. Got it. You guys are ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. In three, two, one, go. Han Solo. Han Solo. Han Solo is correct. TFA. Boys. TFA and when he's caught between. Kanja Club. Uh, Tassi Leach and um, who's the other one? Balatik. Uh, Balatik. That's it. Yep. Kanja Club. Guavi and Death Gang. Um, Just keep giving right, me TFA puts, quotes. <laughs> that puts yeah, yeah, what's that yeah. about? So uh, I said before we got started, but I'll explain to listeners. Every one of these, I asked my smart assistant, I won't say the name of it, uh, give me a number between 1 and 11, uh, with 10 being Rogue One and 11 being Solo. And depending on what she said... Then I got picked, picked one seven. from that movie. So Selected whatever, whatever seven. came up, 
It was like uh, it was like friends, like seven, 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 seven. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Currently going into the the uh, seventh round, if I'm not seven. mistaken. Uh, yeah. We are eight to six. Lacey's still okay. only trailing by one. Keeping in mind that both of two. you have your two. Are, trailing by uh, two. Well, one question, yeah, is what I mean to say. But you both have your bonus uh, hint. All right. Next one is. As the leader of the opposition, it will be very difficult to get Senator Amidala to leave the Capitol. Oh. Obviously, sequel trilogy. No. As the leader of the opposition, it will be very difficult to get Senator Amidala to leave the Capitol. Nothing like a, a good government movie. <laughs> the thing about when I play this game, this era, which is clearly prequels, free hint, because <laughs> it's Amidala, um, they all sound like they could come from anybody. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh. As the leader of the opposition, it will be very difficult to get Senator Amidala to leave the Capitol. Do 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 do. I have no idea. La 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 la. la. <laughs> I hate the government parts. I don't find them interesting. I know some people do, and look, more power to you. I cannot get it. Like when you work in marketing in real life, like the last thing you want to do is sit in business meetings when you go to a movie. <laughs> I don't think of them as business meetings. I'm like, ooh, this is cool and crazy. <laughs> One more time. <sighs> As the leader of the opposition, it will be very difficult to get Senator Amidala to leave the Capitol. <laughs> Man, this is tough. I don't know if a hint would be good for this one or not, since it both looks since it looks like you're struggling. It's funny because you obviously know it's one of three movies. So then you have to narrow it down to the movie, and then you're like, well, there's all these parts in all of these movies because George Lucas likes government speak. I mean, this is the seventh, so you've got this one, the next one, and the ninth to get your uh, free hint in. Um, I don't know if this is a good choice for you or not, considering I'm going to be like Phantom Menace or whatever, you know, whatever, yeah. whatever it is. And then you guys will be like, well, that didn't help because, I, you know, I'm just going to be anybody from those movies. I'm just going to guess on this one. All right. Lacey? guessing yeah please. i guess i'm gonna guess too all right in three two one reveal palpatine new gun ray anakin skywalker oh what? that's him talking to palpatine isn't it nope it's him talking to mace windu and the rest <gasps> of the can i tell you Jedi mace Council. was in my head for some reason i was, I was like, gonna drop mace, mace down too this. yeah now i know why because my brain was remembering them talking oh. so there's a conversation about trying to get her yeah, off, to leave yeah. to, to go back and and they're saying uh obi-wan's like i can't do it and they're like well your padawan can do it and he's like immediately like oh that's gonna be a lot of work so he puts up a little bit of a fuss as leader of the opposition. It's going to be very difficult to get Senator Norma Dahl to leave the Capitol. And then they say, you know, just do it as a, as a refugee and you'll be fine. Yeah. 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 No, but now I course. Mace was yeah. sitting in my head and now I know why. All right. And I remember sitting there being like, it does make sense. Either yeah. Dang. Continuing eight to These six. Are good. These are tough. These are our good. Yeah. Seventh round. Uh, or our eighth round. So two more eighth round. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. Oh yeah. How about you have a go at me? You lumpy brute. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> How about you have a go at me? You lumpy brute. Oh my God. <laughs> John's pretty confident. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm as confident as I was about the other one. I said I was really confident. The Luke Skywalker one. I think it was the Luke one, yeah. Can you say it again, James? <clears throat> oh, yeah? How about you have a go at me, you lumpy brute? 
<laughs> it's like an awkward giggle from all of us because <laughs> it's like yeah I don't you know. can it's just it. a funny quote i mean listeners know exactly what's going on because we haven't revealed the answer yet they hear it they go oh what is that i know what it is i can't think of what it is though i can't put it into words okay i'm gonna guess all right you have it you have some remember you got one end i got nothing to lose james i live on the wild side it's a good <laughs> point all right um that, that was kind of mean. I said, that's a good point. You do have nothing to lose. <laughs> All right. Here's the reveal in three, two, one, go. Han Solo. L337. Oh, L337. that makes sense. Yep. I know exactly what part that is. Talking yeah, to uh, Clint Steve. Howard. Yeah. Clint Howard. Droid yeah. fighting. Clint Howard, my infamous answer from Schmodown. <laughs> oh, right. Right. <laughs> Oh, yeah? How about you have a go at me, you lumpy brute? <laughs> yeah. It does sound like something Han Solo would say, though. It does, yeah. yeah. It's just good writing. It's good Kazden writing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was going to mention that, too. As I was coming through all of these, I felt that the movies that had the most obvious ones were um, the ones written by Kazden. Because he has quotable like Force movies. Force Awakens, Solo. Yep. I was like, none of these movies feel like, well, I don't know, anybody in that scene could have said it. It it felt the most like, of course, that person would say that, um, which ma made it harder for me to find ones that weren't. But believe me, going through those movies, you're like, they go back and forth and you're like, I can't say any of these because obviously Lando says that. Because that's just how Lando speaks. That's just I think, how Kira talks. That's just not how... To, not to like get too far in the weeds on this, but I like that conversation because I feel like sometimes, like in, just in interviews, like George Lucas will like change his mind on what character says something, whereas Kazdin will already have the character in mind and say, what will that character say? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not the saying i'm not here sitting saying george lucas isn't a good writer he he created star wars but i mean like right. i think there's just a different philosophy mm -hmm. all right um let's move on to the last one this is the ninth round ninth question am i right one two three yep mm -hmm. all right here we go if we can find it on our scanners the first order is not far behind Oh, geez. If we can find it on our scanners, the first order's not far behind. I think I had the movie. Um, and Hints I think I are available. Yeah. Um, there's no like rules against like, oh, we already had that character. So they're they're out, right? Am I even allowed to ask that? No, you're not allowed to ask that. What are you doing? <laughs> What's why is that so egregious to ask that? I don't think. Well, I don't know. That's I don't cheating. Know that that helps. I don't How know is that, that cheating? Her. That's cheating. You're asking what characters have been said and what characters haven't been said. That's cheating. No. He's asking what? Hey, do we have a rule that we says, know what characters have been gonna... said? I understand that, but that's giving it away. You answering yes or no, that is giving away what question, what characters in his head. That's cheating, John. That's absolutely cheating. I'm not cheating. That, don't, think, don't accuse me of cheating. Don't, don't, I, don't I ruin think, the phone. <laughs> I'm not accusing John, think, you of cheating. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying the question you're asking would be cheating. That's why I said, can I ask that? I guess and I'm I saying, no, you did. can't. It would be cheating. Sorry, James, can you repeat the question or the comment? Yeah, quote, it's whatever. not obviously cheating, but it could lead to a hint sort of thing. Um, yeah. The quote is, if we can find it on our scanners, the first order is not far behind. I, I, I got it, I think. I don't know. Mm. <clears throat> if we can find it on our scanners, the first order is not far behind. 
I really want to know how listeners are doing. It's been a while since we've done a Who Are You, so it's fun to go into the comments Probably after. better than we did, is my guess. I think it's so these were that some of them. These were tough, but they were good. Like, they were good quotes. Yeah, like I said, it, I mean, it, more so with the with the um, um, the one that I was just talking about, the Lawrence Kasdan quotes, the Lawrence Kasdan movies, but with all of them, it, yeah, I have to scour to find the quotes that just don't immediately give it away. Yeah. Can you repeat it again, James? Absolutely. If we can find it on our scanners, the first order's not far behind. Okay, I'm going to guess. All right. No hints in this game were used. <laughs> All right. Wait, in... is this nine? This is nine. Yeah. This is the last one. Do you want oh, the hint? Oh, I'll use the hint. Okay. All I'm right. not going to win Here anyway. Lacey's going to take the hint to see if she can pull this one Watch out. Watch it not help me at all. <laughs> Watch it not help me at all, and I already have the movie in my head. What if I just accidentally text John? <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought about that because we have a group text. I was like, what if you yeah, accidentally yeah, yeah. <laughs> That would be cheating, guys. <laughs> can you repeat the quote? Yes. <gasps> did you get my text? I did. Okay. Um... If we can find it on our scanners, the first order's not far behind. Okay. I actually gonna... think oh, this is a good oh, wait, one for a hint. Wait, wait. I'm changing my answer. Uh oh. Are you sure you want to do that? No. <laughs> He's got nothing to lose. <laughs> All right. I probably should have left what I had, but whatever. One more time, James. If we can find it on our scanners, the first order's not far behind. Okay. Wait. All right. Ready? Nope. nope. <laughs> Wait, hold on one second. <laughs> I'm trying. Demonetization. <laughs> okay, one more time. Okay. okay I feel go. like this I'm is go before we give our answer. I feel like this is one of those lines where the person <laughs> who was writing was like, I got to give this person a line here. So that's my approach to this. Possibly. Okay, that completely defeats my my answer, but sure. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. You guys ready? Yes. All right. In three, two, one, go. Poe Dameron. Conics. Han Solo. <laughs> what? Is that, that when is they're Han on the Solo planet? In The Force Awakens... And he's talking to uh, Ray and Finn, and he's talking about the Millennium Falcon. <gasps> yes. Oh, my God. If we can find it on our scanners, the first order is oh, not far behind. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Man, James, the way you read these, I have to <laughs> applaud you. Because the way you read them doesn't flat. sound anything like the character or any inflection of the character. So I can't even yeah. pick any of that up. So if you read it the way that he reads it, I would have gotten in two seconds. But James the moment like, they fight us on our scanners. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I John's heard like, the way he was reading man. it in my head. <laughs> I read it as someone's in an X-Wing. So I was like going through. I was like, could it be Poe? Could it be Snap? Could it be all these people? I didn't even consider Harrison Ford. Or so Hunter. the scene I thought it was, was in Rise of Skywalker towards the end when they find Luke's X-Wing on the radar. And then like, and Finn's like, that's Ray. And I thought someone like chimed in, like, oh, they find it on her scanners. So first John, you behind. should have asked, you should have asked for the uh movie. You know what's funny? My first answer was Ray. Set you towards Force Awakens. I said uh Rise of Skywalker at first, and I then that's, changed yeah. my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, because I got the hint. But man, now I'm s i am I'm bad at the game, if I remember correctly, but I'm anxious to play again. <laughs> If, it's uh, fun if, you know it's more I, it's it's fun to play time is it. my quote you get to do the quotes yeah i don't want to play this game ever again <laughs> you say that every time <laughs> and then we make you do it but um it's fun because it's it's a game and the and i like that the audience gets to play along and tell us how much better they are than us so um At the what end, was the score uh, yeah 10 to 6 it's a good game yeah 10 to 6 um, it's a good game because you won john okay 
Enough. John, out of nine, John got five. Are you being, five, okay, are you being serious right now? I don't know. Am I? I really can't tell. <laughs> I don't sometimes. know. Am I feel I? like you're being serious, but you're trying to mask it as you're being joking. John, cool. if you ask her if she's being but. serious or not, that's cheating. <laughs> You make I'm that joke, but that. that question for him to be like, "Have you had this this character before?" is a yeah. cheating question. No, I didn't. I didn't say that. That's not what I said. Yes, you did. You were asking if you if James could have quotes from the same character twice. Yeah, and I said, "Can I?" Ask that, that is Probably a clarifi- a clarification question that could lead to cheating. Therefore, the you cannot is, ask the cheating, question. Cheating's not right. Che- maybe a right. A, a hint. That was an unexpected hint or something. But, but Lacey's not in a sound booth, so she would have heard the same thing I heard. So it would have been. Doesn't even matter. I don't want you to have any hints. I don't care if I don't get any hints. Yeah. Well, anyway, it was. It's a, it's a, it's a fun time. Win or lose, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guys. I it's like fun. playing. I like. So I like fun. winning. I like losing. I like playing. It's a good time, and I hope everyone had fun. Life's tough. I like writing the questions too. It's fun. You're good. Mm-hmm. You got good quotes. Those you get to go. You get to revisit all the movies, and it just really sinks in how awesome Star Wars is. Like it's like Attack of the. It's like two. The, the numbers two, and I'm like, all right, Attack of the Clones. Here we go. And I'm flipping through. I'm like, man, Obi Wan fighting Jango Fett. Like all the stuff with the clones. Like all the this. That's the key, though. Stuff. I'm like, going, oh, man, all going this through stuff the movie. So because, good. Yeah. 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 I think there were some issues back in the day with Schmodown where. There were like IMDB quotes used that were just like not even in the movie, you know? Right. Yeah. So, or they started um, pulling from books that weren't even in the movies. Yeah. I think Sean Sullivan lost a match on a question that literally wasn't in the movie. <laughs> He's like, all right, here we go. But my biggest uh, fear is when the, is when the words, when the quote is potentially used in two movies, which we've also ran into with Who Are You? When two people said the same line, it's like, oh, I don't you remember you know. which. Do you remember what the quote was? Um, I remember Leia was one of them. It was you assume a quote. too much. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it was Padme and Leia. New Gunray. New Gunray. Oh right, that's right. Yeah. You assume too much. Yeah, she goes, Leia "You then. assume too much." Yeah. In the same movie. Yep. <laughs> Lucas is like, "Oh, that's a good line," and he forgot he had it in there, so he had someone else say it too. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's great. All right, guys. Um, all right, cool. James, yeah, thanks. Ra- uh, wrap it up. It. Who are you? There we go. What's up, John? That's it. Yeah, hit us up with uh, your scores. Let us know how you did. Let us know what the hardest quote was, in your opinion. And uh, thanks for playing along with us. We hope you had fun. Uh, but that brings us to the end of the show. So make sure you do sub to the pod on your favorite audio platform. And, of course, that channel, youtube.com slash at the resistance broadcast. Uh, Patreon, we're pushing it because we need your support. We're trying to expand this thing. Patreon.com slash resistance broadcast. Get your topics on the show. Get a part of our Discord. Let's have some fun. Uh, You can find me on Twitter at Johnny Hoey and my movie podcast, just like the movies. We're doing PCU next. Uh, Should be out tomorrow. Um, The the frat movie before all the frat movies. Uh, James. People can find me on Twitter and Instagram, both using the handle at Myra Trunks. M-Y-R-A space T-R-U-N. that one. Nope. Oh. Andrew, get out of here. <laughs> Lacey. People can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Lacey Gillerin and on TikTok at It's Lacey Gillerin. All right. So we hope everyone has a great week. Our last live Thursday show for a while is this Thursday, because uh, then we're coming back for Wednesdays for the Mando Fan Show next week so yeah mandalorian's in nine days but get hyped for that but get hyped for another episode with us on thursday and have a great week we'll see you next time right here on trb see you around kids